What's going on? Going strong? What's going wrong? Hi. It's the chef boy. Cooking up another one. This one's financial. I'm doing a series on the finances of a Hellcat, basically funding the beast. I should I should call it that. I should call it funding the beast. So in the funding the beast series, um, I wanted to navigate through some of the things that I learned, I guess, some of the things that I am actively doing and some of the dollars that are going out per month for the stuff and the things. Um, in one of the other videos, I talked a bit about uh, insurance. In one of the other videos, I talked about the car note. And you know what I haven't talked about yet? Gas. I haven't talked about gas. Talk about gas a lot. But how much am I actually paying? I just wanna, I wanna throw it out there and say that like, I don't mind how much for gas. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that I, I mind how much I pay for gas. Like, the amount that I pay for gas is the amount that I pay for gas. Like, there's no, there's no way around it, you know what I mean? Um, so first things first, this is a 16 and a half gallon tank, right? So whatever number you're going to create in your mind, that's um, that number, you know, per gallon times 16. Now granted, it should never get to 16. I should only be filling up at 12. And I'm, I, I'm gonna do another video at some point on not allowing your fuel pump to, to prematurely die, all right? All the components here are going, they, they have a life line to them and, and and at some point things are just gonna go tires go quickly wheels go quickly uh you know what i mean uh brakes go quickly but there's some things that don't need to like your fuel pump and the way that you keep your fuel pump going as long as possible since it's a self-lubricating thing you should be cha changing your oil you should be filling up at no less than just above a quarter tank right just above a quarter tank and i'll i'll go into detail on that later but anyway anyway this is one of those times, this, this receipt that I have in my hand is a great example of how much you can expect to pay if you don't care about your fuel pump, okay? Because this was one of those times that I unfortunately didn't get to the gas station as fast as I was supposed to, okay? Just throwing it out there. Now again, I just wanna throw it out there that, uh, there are a few things this, to, in this video I'm gonna throw out there. Um, I didn't get this vehicle for me as a, I, I, this is not a compliance vehicle, as in, this is not good on gas, <laughs> I don't care, I don't care. I don't think any of my, no, my motorcycle's good on gas. There you go, I have a fuel efficient vehicle. But um, in, this in this case, I don't really care. Um, if you need to concern yourself with the amount of gas, like what gas costs, then uh, uh, go ahead and whatever, but just don't get this car. All right, so last time I went to the, to the gas station, this was actually in New Jersey. I didn't fill up, they filled up, because it's illegal to fill up in Jersey by yourself. Um, premium is the only thing that can go on these vehicles. I believe the, the book says 91, but where I live, it's literally 87, 89, 93. I don't care, I'm going with 93. It is what it is. Even when I can fill up on 91, like the, the in Jersey, there are certain places where you can go 87, 89, uh, 91, and 93. Well, I got enough 93 in my tank, we gonna keep going with 93. I don't care. Uh, but in this particular case, um, I went nearly, nearly 17 gallons, my gosh nearly 17 gallons kind of bad uh at a price of four dollars and five cents maybe, maybe really four dollars and six cents um four dollars yeah four dollars six cents uh 4.059 and i spent 68.87 at the fuel pump imagine though that i didn't do that and i did it somewhere around about what uh 12 gallons even 13 gallons uh 13 gallons i'm just gonna subtract what 12 dollars from this so that would have been 56 dollars so imagine that and mind you this is not at the five dollars and fifty cents six dollars and six dollars and fifty cent um, um uh, uh threshold that we were at even just about a month ago so imagine what those numbers were i mean i literally did fill up at about 85 90 dollars a couple of times um didn't didn't even blink at it it is what it is it's just i mean yeah but 68.87 okay this is irresponsible fueling imagine that you pay about 60 dollars per so how much per month because that's the number that we care about right i mean we can take the numbers right we say uh if i've got 
60, let's say $60, right? The more responsible fueling, not getting too far, uh, but the threshold of safety for my self uh, lubricating fuel pump. Uh, if we just say that it's about $60, uh, 56 to $60, and I'm telling you I fill up about two, two, three times a week when I am using this vehicle as my primary. Remember, I daily drive this vehicle. So, mm, two to three times. Now, mind you, that's in New York. The other thing is you have to understand I'm in New York City. So I'm going four or five miles. It takes me about a half hour. Yes, it takes me about a half hour, four or five miles. Um, but when I'm on the highway, let's say I'm going to Delaware or if I'm in New Jersey or if I'm in Connecticut, uh, I'm literally on the highway capable of getting far better fuel economy, which is weird if you think about it. The shorter distance you go, the more you're paying in gas. The further you go, the less you're paying in gas. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, in those situations, here's what I'm looking at. Um, about two times a week in New York City when I'm just traveling around, seeing parents, seeing other YouTubers, going to, to um, these, these uh, car and car, cars and coffee events, three times a week. So let's just go with the worst case scenario, three times a week. So 60 times three, 180. We'll just, we'll just throw the round number out and say 180 per week. And we'll just do the math at what? Um, 52, well, I don't even wanna do it per year. We'll just say in a four week month, I am paying somewhere around this number. Per year, I expect to pay somewhere around that number. But she's worth it. <laughs> if you look at my POV video, you'll understand why I say she's worth it. Look at any of my POV videos and you'll understand why I say she's worth it. She's... <laughs> but you do pay for that fun. You know, you pay for that fun. And of course, other people will ask me the question, well, why don't you just get an electric vehicle? Honestly, because I don't want one. Okay, there is one I want, but it's not out yet. Not, you know, there. So yes, look at the numbers. These are the numbers you can expect to pay when you talk about getting a Hellcat. So these numbers exist. You should be prepared for them. Unless you're not gonna drive this thing daily, you know? Because <laughs> these numbers don't make sense if you're like, I'm gonna drive her once a week or maybe once every two weeks. I'm only getting her as an investment. Well, I'm gonna drive the absolute heck out of this vehicle and she's still gonna be an investment. You know, it is what it is. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, smash the like button, elbow drop the like button, come off the top turnbuckle with a leg drop on the like button. Even more than that, do you have any questions? Questions about the, the what gas I'm putting in here, which stations I go to, uh, uh, the amount of money that I'm spending anywhere else. Uh, I'm gonna be an open book to you guys when it comes to this because, well, I didn't see a whole lot of videos that were delving this deeply into the money game, the numbers, the financials, uh, except for King Zeke's videos. So I, I'm gonna just give you, I'm gonna plug him real quick in the comment section. Go ahead over to his page. Uh, he's on the road to 500. Please subscribe to this page, this channel, because uh, we're on the road to 400. Would you like to be a part of the journey? Yeah, you know, I've got a lot of other really cool motorsports stuff happening. Um, a trip to Radford, um, some motorcycle stuff. And Honestly, just learning myself and my car, and I'd like for you to be a part of the journey. Live vicariously through me until you pick one of these bad girls up and then go back through the videos one time so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Uh, I am the Chef Boy, and you just got the recipe.